Okay, we're looking at the engine stop system on the life and 5 horsepower engine. And if we look down here, we can see that there is a brake pad, and the brake pad is contacting the engine flywheel. It's held in place by the force of this spring here. So if we want this flywheel to turn, we must overcome the force of that spring. And this is done by the operator who pulls a lever that works against the spring and pulls the brake shoe away from the flywheel. So we'll just watch it in operation there. Now in addition to that we also observe that the primary winding from the coil is grounded underneath this assembly. So there we can see the coil and there we can see the primary winding. So in addition to physically breaking the flywheel, operating against this spring doesn't ground the primary. When we release the spring, the primary is grounded. So we're going to demonstrate that now using a multimeter just set to continuity. And we're going to take off the primary winding and put one probe in there and the other probe to ground. And because we're in the stop position here, we should get a continuity beep. And if you look at the meter, there. So now, zero resistance, the primary windings are running directly to the ground, we won't have any ignition. So we're going to operate against the spring force, in other words, look for operation. You can see the brake shoe withdraws, and if you notice now, there's open circuit. So in other words, the primary windings are not being run to ground. And we're going to operate it just on and off. So you can see there, in operation, stopped. In operation, stopped. Now, we keep doing that, and you'll notice that just before the brake pad comes into contact with the flywheel, the spark, the primary windings are grounded. So the engine's not getting any ignition, and all the brake pad is doing is killing the kinetic energy in the engine and bringing the flywheel to a rest. So that's how we stop the life and five horsepower engine.